What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over some tips on how to help you win inside the Gulag for Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale. Now in Warzone, if you happen to initially die, then you will get sent into this different section of the game called the Gulag. And then once you're here, you 1v1 another player who was also sent here for a chance to redeploy back into the game. It seems kind of easy, however, the way the 1v1 pit is designed allows the game to be more fair in terms of movement but there are some things that you should take into consideration before you blindly rush to the enemy one of which happens to be in the little waiting arena of the gulag and no I'm not talking about just throwing a bunch of rocks at the players instead you should be spray painting every single player in the spectating arena preferably with a color like yellow because that way once you get redeployed back into the 1v1 pit then you can actually see the enemy stick out a little bit easier because there are some parts on the side of the map that that are a little bit dark so that way you can see the yellow you can see the brighter color and uh, have a better advantage to spot the enemy instead of just uh, risking the chance of them being camouflaged with a dark outfit depending on the operator that they're using so instead of throwing rocks again definitely spray every single enemy inside the waiting arena also another thing that you should do if you are playing with a friend who may have been sent to the gulag with you then help each other out tell the teammate where the enemy is at either by throwing rocks or simply just calling him out and which direction is he running is he pushing up middle is he going on the left or right side it can be very very easy to win by having those extra set of eyes giving you call outs but what I like to do at the start of each match is I'll have my character kind of face either the left or the right side because when the countdown timer is going off the opponent sees a red outline of where you are at so if you're facing either the left or right direction always run in the opposite direction of which you are facing and like 99% of the time the opponent is going to think that they're actually heading towards that direction so you can easily predict where they are going to run and that way you can catch them off guard and easily take the victory because you know where they are going towards now also don't be afraid to throw those equipment down like concussion grenades or your lethals because sure the game does go by fast but they do provide a significant advantage in the game and I don't really worry too much about that flag going off the flag capture because um, like I said the game game surely does go by fast but you do have enough time to use those equipment so utilize them they're there for you use them you also don't want to play this 1v1 very rush heavy I know you may be frustrated because being sent here after you die is um, very very frustrating but the most important thing that I can say in this video is to just remain calm and don't think about the last death you have because you can do more for your team by redeploying back into the game rather than dying in the 1v1 pit and uh, now they gotta you know earn cash to redeploy you back into the game is just another thing to worry about so like I said just keep a level head try to think be patient take the right shots and outsmart your opponent before you rush straight into them a lot of people seem to think that rushing is a good strategy to catch the opponent off guard and sure maybe they may not be expecting it but from what I've experienced you don't have that high of a chance of winning in the gulag by rushing compared to playing the engagement tactically and by outsmarting the opponent now guys for the last portion of the video I want to talk about some map specific tips because a lot of people don't know this but inside the gulag you actually play on three different map variants of the pit not just one and I'll throw up a side-by-side -side comparison of all three on screen just to give you guys a general idea of the layout for each the first showers it really favors close quarters engagements more compared to long range because there's a bunch of you know stuff that covers the lines of sight areas the middle area is the most open field of view so you really got to be careful of all angles in the middle in the second variant there is a circular pattern of showers and a bunch of items that really just block coverage and break up the action so hugging the wall on this map is definitely the best way to win in my opinion and there really aren't any clear lines of sight on this variant and then for the third variant of gulag the middle is basically an oval shape that really favors more close quarters engagements but definitely out of the other two this one favors more of the campier play style because you can just sit behind the stalls and let the enemy team come to you or wait for them to capture the flag and then throw your equipment onslaught onto the flag and then attack them from there so um, again three variants of the gulag a lot of people don't know that but um, I think it's a really really cool little change up because you really don't know what map you play on um, but definitely you want to learn the angles and the lines of sights for every single map but I absolutely love the gulag it's very unique to battle royale it's a lot of fun for sure so hopefully these tips were able to provide you with some um, you know useful ideas to help you win your 
gunfights. I didn't want to say when every time like other YouTubers have stated in their titles for views because that's quite literally impossible and improbable, but you for sure will have a higher percentage of winning those gunfights with these tips. So again, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.